Residents of Castle area on your way to Athena from Thika town are living in fear because of this bear conductor that is touching the ground from the supply pole of electricity that is above there. From the look of things, these trees have done a very good job at obstructing the power lines and that led to the breaking of this conductor, probably due to the force of the tree branches. The conductor which is broken is the face. The neutral remains intact, though it looks as if it is very strained from the way it is very tight. From the look of things, my top boss, there has been a very serious obstruction and interference of power lines in this specific line. But now the issue is these trees have probably been in existence for quite some time. At this particular end is where we have the supply of power through these LV conductors, the face and the neutral. Now the incidence that has happened here is that of course there are obstruction of trees at this particular place that are probably interfering with the power conductors. Now probably what happened, that conductor especially the face tripped or it was broken by the force created by these tree branches and as a result this line was broken down. Several customers are served in this particular area. From the distribution, this is the supply and this is the distribution. Now at that particular pole, my top boss, it is important for me to mention that that point there is also a divergent of the LV single phase power lines that go the other way up. Now you can forgive me for being the devil's advocate, but I oversee a problem here whereby these conductors may come in contact with each other, the face and the neutral. When that happens, it means that the entire line will have to suffer an outage because the fuse will be broken. When the fuse is broken, several customers that will be connected to that particular face will definitely be affected. Interference by vegetation on the power conductors can lead to the conductors snapping or probably coming in contact with each other. This could be in a three-phase distribution, an LV or low voltage power distribution, where it involves three-phase or a single phase. Now for this particular case, this is a single phase distribution line where the phase has been affected. Probably it gave in due to the motion and the weight of the tree branches after the wind impact. And therefore this conductor here is definitely broken, rendering anyone that is connected on this line to be in total darkness. Now the problem here comes when there is a notice that has been issued by the Kenya Power or the power distributor whereby you are supposed to clear vegetation that is actually obstructing the way leaves. Now, for this particular case, what I can oversee is that these customers were given several warnings, but they did not adhere to that. The reason why I'm saying so is because there has been several repairs on these conductors, whereby I can see a lot of joints, meaning that these trees have been affecting these power lines for quite some time. Now, an issue arises whereby if the conductors are bare, meaning that they are not insulated, you will find that once these conductors clash, they will lead to something that is referred to as a power surge. This power surge will travel all the way to the home appliances and damage them, or probably strike the weakest areas of a wiring in that installation and it can cause a fire. That fire definitely can cost the consumer an entire home or a business property. Now, whenever these conductors come in contact, especially the face and the neutral, they will definitely affect the fuses at the source or the transformer by simply breaking them. And therefore, anyone that is connected on that line is affected because they will have to experience a power outage or a power blackout. 
If these conductors were insulated, therefore it would not have raised any issue because again, it would mean that even if they come in contact with each other, they will not have any problem either on the customer side or on the transformer because this will imply that they are not short circuiting. Behind me what you can see is a conductor. It is a phase conductor and we don't know whether it is live or it is disconnected. Either way, it may pose a serious danger to the members of the public as well as the animals that may get in contact with it. Another issue that I notice is that the conductor which is bare is in contact with the fence. This is one fence line that is touched. Number two, number three, and finally it is also in contact at this point all the way to the pole right there which is made of a wire that can conduct electricity meaning that if this particular point here which is in contact with power supplies current to this particular fence it is conducting all the way around and anyone that will come in contact with that particular fence on the other end it means that they expose themselves to electric shock which may cause serious burns on their skin or it can even be fatal now the owner is probably suffering from lack of power and we'll try and get a hold of them and interview them on this particular incident. At this particular point, due to this power line that is suspended here, it simply means that they remain in the dark until probably when they decide to prune these trees, either cut the trees down completely or probably prune it so that they can pave the way for the power conductors. When I came to this place, I met one lady who actually granted us an interview and she said she has reported the matter to Kenya Power, but no action has been taken. Kindly Kenya Power, come and fix this issue on your way to Athena near Castle area before it escalates into causing serious burns on the victims that may get in contact with it or causing death. Remember, animals pass through this particular place and since the conductor is in contact with the fence which also conducts electricity may pose a lot of risk to these animals or the people. Kenya Power kindly fix this issue.